and listen to the signs. Mm, she's very lucky, and I don't use that word very often, but um, she is in, in the sense of having that um, grandma to guide her and, and show her by example, um, and, and parents that support it as well. And And I do hope that that's what society is leaning into more where there's nothing wrong with going to school and for certain nope. degrees absolutely like a doctor right. or a lawyer the the mm-hmm. fail safes we always use like you know there's a reason for that but as you mentioned to her hey take some business classes if you want to be an entrepreneur mm-hmm. and or like maybe mm-hmm. a photography class if there's some additional exactly. skills you can learn and and really being much more um uh, dedicated or focused on those gifts that those she gifts, has. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because everybody has something different and, you know, and it's wonderful. I mean, I wanted to be a doctor at one time and then I became a massage therapist. We did doctoring in a different way, you know, uh, and, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, and a yep. Yep. <laughs> I went to a nat- I went to become a naturopath doctor too. So it's all there. We just got to look at it from different perspectives and not just be in that box that it looks only one way. Because she even said to me, you know, she knows I do retreats and she says, well, I want to travel like you do. I said, you know what? What if, what if you became a top photographer for National Geographic and they took you all over the place? And she looked at me like, well, that's not going to happen. I said, well, not with that attitude. It's not. (laughs) (laughs) I said, but there about it. <laughs> you know, I said, but there are photographers doing this and traveling around the world. So there is a possibility for you. Let's nurture it. Yeah. Oh, so good. So it, I know on the last show, you mentioned working with the clients and you take them through a meditation. Um, but I, I'm curious to know for your own, like, do you have any daily rituals or spirit, spiritual practices that you do to keep you open and, and aligned? I have for decades now, and I've amped it up even more. I live in gratitude. I wake up in gratitude. I go to sleep in gratitude. And it's not just like I got a roof over my head, okay? Mm -hmm. I've been going out for walks, and I've been doing this kind of 12 days of Christmas thing, you know, in (laughs) in the past here. But I'm doing it differently. I'm going out, and my gratitude now is on a, a, a cosmic level. You know, it's really connecting. Like if I want more abundance in my life and all I'm focusing on is lack or I'm going to go make more money and I'm going to work harder, well, it's going to be a challenge. Yeah. But if I'm connected and I'm looking up at the stars and like when there was a full moon, it just like it hit me. I knocked, I got knocked over. There was this big, beautiful black sky, right? So mm-hmm. clear. And then all these little stars started to come out. And I was like, oh, wow, can you see me? I can see you. And it sounds crazy, but we're a reflection of everything that we think and do. And so the moon was full and bright and amongst this big dark sky. And I realized that that moon was showing me how brightly I can shine in this world, no matter how much darkness or anything is around me. And so I start putting myself in this frequency of all the abundance in the universe. And as soon as I start doing that, seriously, within days, different opportunities started to open up. So Mm -hmm. I have to keep reminding myself too don't just think about gratitude. Oh, I'm grateful for my food, which I am and clothes, but think about the gratitude that is in the entire universe present and abundant for you every single day and raise your frequency to that because Mm -hmm. it's so easy for all of us to say, I don't feel good today. I'm tired. I don't have enough money to pay my bills. And then we live in that frequency. And that's what lowers, you know, even what we're capable of doing. So, I'm raising the level of gratitude as much as I can that I'm capable of learning. And I have mentors. I have mentors I follow. Yes. You know, um, I've trained with Bob Proctor for many years, and people might Love. be familiar with him from The Secret. He was yes. my personal coach. Wow. Mary Morrissey is another one. Love. And she's got, she's got <laughs> this uh, gratitation, gratitude meditation series on her website you can purchase. And I listen to that at night. So there's so many things that, you know, people are offering us nowadays that can help us. Mm, So good. Thank you. And I I love how you um, spoke about the the moon against the dark sky, because it is very true, even for myself, when I think about, okay, now I need to do this gratitude. What am I grateful for? And it is in through a small lens, really, most of the time where Mm -hmm. thank you for this beautiful place I have. Thank you, like you said, for the food or the clothes or whatever, but, you know, going beyond that and, and really stretching 
our well, ideas. Well, imagine this. Imagine this. Okay, so you go outside and you know that you breathe, right? Mm-hmm. And it's air, isn't it? So now tune into the air around you, and 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 begin to feel that air like it's you know you're getting a brush across your face, almost like an angel is kissing you. You know, Mm -hmm. and realize that when the breath comes in your nose, it's already been out there in the universe. And when you exhale, you're putting breath out there. So we are all connected all the time. Mm. Just closing my eyes and breathing and feeling that. So thank you for that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have just a, a few minutes left, and I definitely want people to know how to reach you. But before we do that, I'm wondering if there's Anything you feel inspired to share with the audience? Hmm. Well, I would just like to, anybody that's listening, I would like you in 2020 to make a commitment to yourself and to tap into the potential that you maybe don't even know it's there yet. It's there. Pay attention. Listen. And, and if you don't know it's there, then find a mentor that's going to help you find it. It's just mm-hmm. like I was talking to somebody today, two years ago when she started coaching with me, she said to me, I would have never dreamed that today I'd be part of Women Standing Strong, the book, and another book that she's writing because I sent her to an author's workshop and she won the publishing contract. Wow. And now she's going to be on stage with me January 25th in Wilmington, Delaware, uh, for an event that we're doing with some of the co-authors of Women Standing Strong and another one in New Jersey in, in March and another one in Florida in April. So she didn't see this happening. She didn't know she had this potential. She didn't know her goddess was emerging. Mm. So my wish for everybody is you tap into that feminine that is trying to birth something new and greater than you ever imagined. Yes. Who wouldn't want some more of that? Thank you. Mm-hmm. You're welcome. Yeah, so good. And and just going almost full circle back to where we started, where it's like listening um, or paying attention to those signs. And mm-hmm. if you're really um, taken in by this conversation and, and loving what this wonderful woman is sharing with us, this beautiful feminine creature, you will want to get in touch with her. So how do people do that, Gloria? Okay. There's, there's two ways. Actually, I have a new website since we talked the last time. Um, it's powerful potential and purpose.com. And it's where you can find out about the events that we're doing too. And you can email me through there. And then my email, which is Gloria at Gloria Coppola.com Coppola, like in Francis Ford Coppola spelled the same way. And you can drop me a message there. And so those are the two easiest ways. And I'm on Facebook. You can find me on Facebook. Fantastic. And do you have any special gifts that you want to share? I do. If anybody feels call to create okay to put their message out there whether it's through writing a short story a book creating oracle cards or a journal powerful potential and purpose publishing is offering 25 percent off our basic publishing book publishing package until mid-january and so if you email me and and say that you heard me on the show we can go over your dream your vision and I can help you birth and create something that you have had a desire. And, you know, a lot of people say to me, but I don't know how to write. The wonderful thing about that is you don't have to know how to write. You have to have the idea, the story, and our editors and everybody else put that together. And I also include some personal one-on-one creative writing coaching with you. So we'll help you get through it. So mm-hmm. you can be a published author. <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. And I think there are so many incredible stories that uh, really need to be shared. And for anybody that's doubting that there's an audience, or maybe you think or feel like so many other people are are doing something similar, don't, you know, dull your sparkle or dim your light. There's Mm -hmm. somebody out there waiting to hear it um, in the only way that they, they really can hear it is from, from you. So reach out to this amazing person. And again, (laughs) if you missed last week's show, tune into that, you will realize even more how she'll be able to, to guide you through this. So 
Um, thank you again. And for, for anybody that wants to know more about me, head on over to my website, jillianbeth.love. And as always, thank you so much for hanging out with us today. My desire is for each and every one of you to be living your soul's purpose. Thanks, Gloria. Thank you.